Welcome to Brew and Review with Mike and Jake from Orange Cactus Coffee. Join them as they put coffees and brew methods to the test. That's right, and today Mike and I are reviewing our own coffee, but that's really just half the story. What we're really getting into is the Torch, a brew device which takes Kalita filters and Hario V60 filters, and then also the Miyako, that uh, little sideways handle kettle that we've grown so fond of. I think it's a good one. Let's go ahead and play my intro. All right, well, let's hear it. Re, re, review, coffee, review, re, re, review, coffee, review, re, re, review, coffee, review, re, re, review, coffee, review. Are you finally done hacking up a lung over here? All right. Welcome to Brew and Review. I am Jake Goebel. With me, as always, is my partner in coffee crime, the Michael Kin- K- Coughs a lot Kincaid. Last time he was the, um, Last time he was the the crab walking Michael Kincaid. Now he is the um what's the word I'm looking for? The coffin I don't know. Kincaid. Okay. I don't know. Perfect. Now we're focused. We're I've focused got... here. This is what we're doing. What are we doing? We're doing I'm a brew and review. It. We're doing we're... a brew and review. This Welcome. is what we are reviewing. Welcome. Welcome. This is what we're putting to the test. This is the torch. It is a handy brewer that I got from Kurasu. I wanna say there it is. I can't remember who makes Torch it. Torch Mountain Dripper. Torch Mountain. Torch by Mountain. Whatever. I don't know. It's made in Japan. That's all I do know. And that means it's awesome. Let me tell you what else we're using. We are using this side handle dripper that Mikey has used before, or the kettle. This little, ti- this little tiny cutesy guy right here. That's great. So this is what I did. I pre-weighed the coffee. I've got 18 grams of coffee in here. I pre-weighed the water. I've got 300 in here. So I've got like a 17 point something or other, you know, uh, ratio. I'm going to go 17.8, 17.9 to one, 18 in 300 out. Do you need a a device to excavate? No, 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 I'm not going to excavate. I'm going to use it with the pour, the pour method. I should, I should probably excavate, but here I go. No, I'm not, I'm not using a scale. I'm just freehanding it. So it's the 1-2 cup version of the donut dripper. The slim, stylish form allows for coffee to be perfectly layered and shaped to extract the best possible flavor. The finely crafted porcelain dripper features special internal ribs which guide the flow of water through the coffee grains. They call it grains on their site. Uh, The Karasu site. The large outlet hole ensures the optimal flow rate for consistently smooth, full-flavored, fresh-tasting coffee. I should probably excavate. You should use your finger. You got anything? I'm not going to use my finger. You got anything down here that would work? No, pretty much just failed. Just coffee failed. You did. You could use a headphone splitter over there. Yeah. <laughs> that might be more trouble than it's worth. Do you want me to go get something or no, we're, I'm just we're gonna, too just far? Gonna wing it. Just wing it. There you go. So it's kind of a cool dripper, right? It's got a few different features. How did you find this? Well, you were... Yeah, you're pouring. You're pouring. You can't talk. This is good. You can tell them how you found it. But some of the features, should I read the features or do you want to talk about the features? The amount of control you have. What, with that little kettle? With this little kettle is just, it's insane. It's, it's unparalleled. Insane. It's unparalleled. This is what happened. Remember, Mikey, you showed me this little half uh, twisty kettle guy. And while I was jumping around on the Karasu website, I saw the torch, and you said something like, hey, we should get the torch, too, sometime. We should the totally review cool. this. And then I was like, so you done it. deal. Slung it. I did it. What sold me was this. You can use the Kalita 185 filters. That's what I have in there right now. It yeah. might be a little big. You might be able to use the 155s. I'm not certain. Manny G probably knows. But anyways, you can use the Kalita Wave filters with the ruffles, and you can use the Hario V60 filters. You can use Mm -hmm. both filters in the same dripper. That, to me, was like, bam, got to try it. Yeah, it does mention the 155. It says Kalita 102 or Kalita Wave number 155. Well, I'm using 185, and it's working just fine. Yeah. Fits in there nicely. I thought that was kind of neat. You know, it's the same brewer with different filters. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's versatile. It also says here... Uh, oh, wait, where did it go? That 
it had internal ribbings act as stairs to optimally optimally hold the water. Close enough. Stairs. Optimally. Oh, yeah. Optimally. Molly. Cold water to create contact with coffee. Four small holes We're not with one Molly's, large hole Sorry. in the middle creates natural water flow. I'm going to show you the dripper as soon as I'm done with this. While Are we you going to show them? The, I'm going to show you. I am going to show you the dripper. And then it says tapered ridges inside the wooden base to stabilize the dripper. It's an improvement from April 2016. So they've improved this. Mountain, Mountain has improved their dripper. The torch lighting the way. It comes in different colors, too. They got this blue one. It's like a baby blue, like a sky blue, they, or they call it dreamy blue. Hey, that would go well with our billowing clouds uh, background. You know, I haven't timed I have no idea what's happening with this brew right over here. I, while you're over there reading it and we're just hanging out, I am making an absolute and total <laughs> train wreck of this brew. You have right one now. job to do. I had one I'm job and I you. totally n- did not nail it. Uh, totally failed should it. Should we redo it? Totally failed it. Nah. Nah. Well, you can see you hit record. And yeah. we, that what time is on the recording? Five minutes. So you started, you didn't start right away. I didn't start right away. So you're probably at like three probably and a half, a four. Over. Yeah, I'm probably a little over. It's because you didn't excavate. Yeah, and no excavation. Uh, and I was pouring so slow. I was like, oh, this is so cute. Look, I'm pouring. La, 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 this is awesome. You're too worried about the kettle. I was so worried about the That's kettle. It's a sweet kettle, though. Limitation, you can only put 300 milliliters of water in it, though. It's just slow, though. It looks just... It's just, you know what else? Uh, it's hot because it's porcelain. Is it hot? It gets hot. It is quite hot. Can you pick it up by here? Yeah. Is, am I going to spill it on you? Probably. But that's okay because I already spilled hot water all over myself anyways. The, I, that's clever. It's nice wood. What is, no, no, no. It's the torch, not the clever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no problem. It's not the clever. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, Look, it's just sitting there, too. So there's a question here. Yeah. So totally, what's the difference totally between it. the donut dripper and the mountain dripper? Uh, the donut dripper takes up to four cups and, um, create, and created for dark roasted beans, ah, uh, which is the main trend in Japanese coffee beans. Ah. Uh, it has more height than the mountain, so more beans hit the coffee grounds. Love that. I'm not sure I'm following. Giving the coffee a more heavy taste balance, which again works very well with dark roasted beans. I see. All more right. body. More body. So there are... Not too bad. You can kind of see a little bit in here the steps. There's two steps in it from the bottom, and they only... It's like a quarter of the way up and halfway up. Can you see the steps in there, Mikey? Yeah. So it's uh, I, uh, maybe it's Mike a can, Maybe you can upload a photo or there's something no and, put it, a photo of that. and put it like right there. Yeah, it's just because it's kind of dark. You can't see it. Yeah. But there's four little holes, and then there's a big hole. And that big hole in the middle is what allows you to sit the V60 dripper straight through it. Which we're going to do next, Which we're right? going to do next. Yeah, we're going to do that right now. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm looking for any other valuable information. That's it. What did it run, you guys? This this guy, well, it's 24 well, it, bucks, right? I think, I think it was 15000 Oh, 15000 Yeah, can you hand me your glass, please? 15000 <laughs> Remember oh. Karasu's side had... Yeah. Uh, one of those things, something we were looking at. Yeah, Nick recommended the, uh, the the kettle. This little kettle was $15,000. No, I think it was a different kettle. No, I think, what was it? What were we looking at? We were looking at two. There are two different sizes. You're right. I can't remember. All right, so it's the same coffee, so I'm not going to worry about the little bit of dregs in there, the little tiny bit. It's not really dregs. It's just a little leftover. Little baby leftovers. That is pretty cool. I'm trying to see if they say... Uh, features. Boom. So next I'm going to take the V60 filter. I'm going to put a little fold in it like I do. Oh, it looks like I got it a little bit wet. Man, I am just really killing this thing today. So it says here, over time, the attractive wooden base gains additional character from the natural patterns and staining of regular use. So as you use it, the, uh, the little wooden donut circle will change. Um, and you can actually see like rings of a tree is what I'm picturing. When you cut down a tree, you see its age and the character. You can see it right here. This right but here. now you'll add coffee character to it. I'm adding coffee character. Via right staining now. and spilling. And, and spilling all over my leg. I just spilled hot water on my leg. Okay. Uh, uh, light time. <laughs> uh, wait. Oh, the lights? Yeah, we're going to yeah. go light time. And you, you actually can't see it in the video. You can? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, hey, let you they know it's light time. Liquor. It's for effect. 
It's for dramatic effect. Ooh, it's dramatic coffee effect. It's got really good reviews, so keep that in mind. Same amount of coffee, same coffee. The only thing that's changing is the filter. 24 US dollars is the final answer. That's pretty cool. It's a neat little brew. It's different. It's different. I don't know. We'll see at the end if we think it's worth it than yeah. going away from your traditional Kalita and V60. I mean, you can do both, which I thought was kind of the neatest neatest thing. That was the neatest <laughs> capability of That it. is just the neatest thing. Would you believe you could use two uh, different types of filters in here? Reminds me of Racket Ralph. Have you seen Racket Ralph? I have not seen Racket Ralph. The uh, Fix-It Felix. I am just so cross with you. I'm just so, so cross with you. <laughs> is that what he <laughs> said? The lines. <laughs> that is perfect. Oh, it's funny. It's got like a, a unique little accent to the guy. He also says something else that's funny. Let me say. I can't remember. What yeah. Have you seen? So um, you still don't know what kind of what coffee this is, do you, Mike? No, you won't tell me. You smelled it. Now we're going to make you taste it. Yeah, I don't think it smells very good. Well, it was probably because I cooked it, <laughs> cooked it for a half an hour. Okay, I see. I think I have a, an idea now, which was my idea all along. But you're tricky t at times. You're I you're smarter Trixie. than you look. I'm a Trixie Hobbit. <laughs> you're a Trixie. What does that mean? That's just what Gollum said. The Hobbits are Trixie. Oh. We just keep going with the movie quotes, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it worked out so well for us before. Yeah. And now I can actually hear you getting fatter. I can hear it. <laughs> it's not appealing. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I am stalling a little bit because we can't do the rail method without a spoon. Oh, we need the spoon. So should I go get a spoon? I'll but get a spoon. Then don't again, you... you don't get the sides like the ribs here. You know what I mean? So I don't know. This actually isn't bad. What it's is it? it tastes like the uh, the um, saguaro in Guatemala. That's exactly what it is. The yeah, saguaro I Guatemala. It. I did not tell Mike. Just so you know, this is the saguaro. This is the Guatemalan. Mikey, you passed the test, buddy. I'm very proud of you. I was going to mock you mercilessly. I just want to let you know. I don't care whether it was good for our bottom line or not, good for business or not. I was gonna. I was gonna hammer you. I can't even tell what coffee. It is. I was gonna hammer you hardcore. Sorry. Hardcore. <sighs> so, I've been drinking a lot of different coffee lately. I know. It's hard to tell Presta, sometimes. Presta, Tim Wendell, Bo. It's hard to tell sometimes, but you killed it. You nailed it. You knocked it out of the park. It's got a nice so uh, I'm proud spice of you. to it. Does it have a nice spice? A nice body. Does it have that lingering juicy that I like? It's good coffee. I enjoy it's not it. good coffee. It's great coffee. It's good coffee. I'll go get you. You want a spoon? Or you want the AeroPress paddle like a real man? <laughs> 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 That's the best. Yeah, I'll just take a spoon. Thanks. Okay, I'll be. Are right you going to go? Are you going to pause it? Uh, no, you stall. We're going live. Are oh. you ready? Yeah. Well, because all right, thirty second pour. I will be back in twenty seconds. Okay. You ready? I got no. I got to excavate. I'm going to wait for this. No, okay. By the time you're done pouring, I will be back. Okay. It's a test. The race is on. Don't let anybody through that door. Don't ready? Let the door hit go. you on the way out. This is nice. No, this is nice. Feist. This is nice. I finally have you to myself. This stripper is really, really cool. At first, I was not a fan of it. I just thought it was a little weird, you know, the setup with the side handle and everything. I thought it was just a little bit strange. But now as I start to use it, the control is incredible. Incredible. Almost as incredible as I was fast, right? Ah, I had to go up three flights of stairs in a big house. Get that. Okay, so I'm supposed to cover while he's um, doing his thing, but I'm out of breath. Perfect. Yeah, so bear with us for a moment. So as there, we... there is, that's one little problem. You can see, you can kind of, you can kind of see it hanging through there. Does your filter hang low? Does it wobble to the floor? <laughs> um, does your uh... filter hang low? So what's going on with it? Well, it's... it was just tough to excavate it because the filter started to collapse in on itself. Oh, I see. I guess. So now I'm, I'm still going to go a single pour in traditional Rayo fashion. Ow! So that we'll... Too. Do we need... Whoa, look at it. See, it's dipping away there. Falling away from me. What do you mean it's dipping away? You, you see the... Give a play-by-play. -play. The filter's running away. 
The filters are sliding through. Oh, it's. I have to speed my. Well, your fil you. What is going on? Hold on. My filter is falling through. It's dripping. It's dripping from the actual uh, porcelain ceramic. Yeah, guy. it does that too. It's not just coming from the filter. How is that happening? So I guess the filter is just running out the hole and down the outer ring of the sides. It might not affect anything. It just doesn't look very clean. It looks weird. But how else? Hey, unless I get coffee all over everything, how else am I going to get that natural wood color? I think it's coming change? out those four little holes. Yeah, there's four little holes and there's one big hole. It absolutely is coming out the four little holes. It's as coming well. out all the holes. It's coming out all holes. Yeah. All holes. Prepare for departure. All holes. Oh, that reminds me of Independence Day when they're shooting mi the missiles. Missiles? Yeah. Missiles. I they're think calling they're out called. the boxes. Like, I didn't know anything about Air Force or how you shoot. Uh huh. Then, right. But you learned it from Independence Day. <laughs> Good job, now. buddy. Yep, you sure do. Remember they like, I didn't know anything about the Army, and then I watched uh, Rambo, and now I pretty much know everything. <laughs> exactly. I watched Predator, and pretty much an expert now. Pretty much an expert. Remember they would say, like, box four, and then After they After I shoot. watched uh, The Hurt Locker, I was totally out disarming bombs and everything. I'm so good. It, you know, gives you a better chance than had you not watched it. However, right? I got to say. Timing's good. Timing's good. If you look at the look at that, instead of the wet mud that I had before, it's wet sand. Huh. So, uh, it's, yeah. Well, that's yeah. It's a little crumpled. It's a little you, scruncher. So you pulled the filter out, and you could see where it was kind of pressed up against yeah, the the it's hole. It's a little scruncher there. It's a little scrunchy. But you know what? You can use both filters. You can use both. I got to be real honest with you. At the same time, I don't. Try I, that. I don't feel like you can use either filter like as well as you could With using some device different. they're intended yeah, for exactly it's like the it's the common um saying or is it the jack of all trades the master of none mm. that's that's kind of what it feels like here i see what you're saying and, and i can totally relate to that because i'm a jack of all i'm a jake of yeah. all trades you're and just a master of kind of good at many things but yeah i'm trying to be a great. master of one no you're not i'm trying to be a master of one thing yeah why you schedule 10 things to work on every day. Yes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So that one thing is 10. My one thing is that I want to be good at everything. Is that I, like, it? I, I like where you're yeah. going with this, Michael. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's basically just a mental game. It has nothing to do with the, uh, uh, the actuality or reality that that's true. So are you almost done? So we can try this next one. Yeah. Yeah. The color looks the same. Makes sense, right? Same coffee. It, it kind of does. Yeah. I mean, it is the same See, coffee. Now, what's interesting, though, about this is because we would recommend at uh, the Suaro de Guatemala, we would probably say go with a flat bottom yes. or an immersion style yes. just to accentuate the body. The body. Which is one the of the body. things they said yeah. in their sales page, on their right. sales page for, the, for not this dripper, for a different dripper, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. They said it was bigger and better for dark coffee. For the bigger dripper. But for the big dripper for dark coffees, that one. So if that was the case, we should we put that as the quote at the top? Big dripper for dark coffees. Let's think about that one. Let's put a pin in it. Come back to it. Uh, so this one should have maybe less body, maybe a little more it clarity. It does have a surprising amount of spice to it. A little bit of spice. The, I normally drink the Guatemalan with a little cream and sugar. I know we don't take it neat. Mm -hmm. And it is what I call candy in a cup yeah that's what i love it i i, I could drink it literally all day long mm. all dad gum stinking day long okay i uh, could understand all right point made got it but it's actually pretty good neat as well i would agree it's got a oh, lot of it. subtle flavors i know you do but look at me i can't maintain my round physique by cutting out cream and sugar it you can't happen yeah, it's got a little, a little bit of spice to it, uh, which I think is is quite good. And actually, it's reminiscent of our very first, um, the mixteca. Yeah, the the mm -hmm. uh, from Mexico mixteca from Mexico. That one. That's the one. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you looking uh, for? What are you looking for? It's on your bothering phone? me. It's what bothering is it? Me. What is bothering you? This other quote from the movie. <laughs> oh, from Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> yeah. Oh my mercy. Should we start? Oh good. Here's the question: Should we start? referencing the movies and the resources i think i have before like when we have these i think i referenced the tommy boy one i think that story was so epic i put tommy boy 
as a resource in the show notes. Yeah, yeah. Should we start doing that? Should we put we Wreck should. It Ralph? Wreck It Ralph in the show so, notes resources? There's a bunch here. Yeah. I want to say a few because I think they're funny. Yeah. There's got to be some of you out there that have kids, or maybe you don't have kids, maybe just like I have Disney children. kids movies. I have oh. children. I just don't, I haven't seen Wreck It Ralph. Yeah, that's okay. I'm talking to the audience. Maybe they have. Hi. There's a moment when Ralph, the main character, he's in the wrong game. And they look and they go, Ralph, do you remember the first rule of Fight um, Club? Yeah, essentially, oh, yeah. of this game. And he says this No cuts, no butts, no coconuts. <laughs> What's the first rule of hero's duty? No cuts, no butts, no coconuts. No. <laughs> uh, but he delivers it well. Was That's, that was that the, was that actually the the first rule? Or no, no? But you, you're laughing so much the first time you hear it. You it don't doesn't even, matter. It doesn't matter. No cuts, no butts, no coconuts. There was another one that Fix It Felix said when he was uh, infatuated. 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 Like with one of the. Other main characters, the female lead. So, wait, but Wreck It Ralph and Fix It Felix, are they in the same game? They're from the same game. Okay. One wrecks it, one fixes it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Oh, so Wreck It Ralph, he's the villain. He's kind of the bad guy, but he doesn't want to be a bad guy. But in the movie, he's the protagonist. He's He's the the villain villain in the game, the protagonist in the story. What's the protagonist? The good guy in the story. He, yes. He's Luke. Because he has, he wants to be the good guy. He wants to win a medal. Just once. He wants to be the guy with the medal. That's it. You got to earn it, buddy. Exactly. You got to earn that medal. That's what the movie's about. Yeah, you got to earn it. Him earning it. And you he goes turbo. Yeah, you can't. Which is, you don't get nothing given to you around here, buddy. Code for Rogue. And he goes to an, oh, another game. He goes Rogue. I like, I like Wreck-It Ralph even more. I think you would. I'm There's have to try so it. many quotes here. I might not find it. Okay, so should we continue with coffee or yeah, should go we ahead. continue with uh, Wreck-It Ralph? I want to talk for a moment. I want to find. Okay, well, I was going to drink. So oh. you keep talking. Okay. They're a, Rotten Tomatoes. They've got like every line of the movie here. This has to be I, plagiarism. I, I think I do taste a little bit of difference in the coffees. I feel like there is a little, like the spice is more accentuated in the, this one, in the, this one. And I don't know whether <laughs> that one. was because mm, uh, of my poor preparation of the first one, but I can taste a little difference. Not a huge difference. It's not like something crazy, but I can taste a little difference. Can you? Between the two filter uses, I think. Or this one's hot and the other one was cool. <laughs> All right. So well, do you think that the, the V60 filtered version is a little has a little more clarity? You're tasting maybe little, the individual? Yeah, I think so. I think that's a good way to put it. If, if you're going to speak in coffee terms, I was going to what? speak in regular layman terms and say, I'm afraid it's a bit more spicy. It's a bit more spicy. <laughs> okay. I was going to say chicken is more better than cereal, which is what my youngest Chicken said. is better? Yeah. Chicken is more better. Mm. Chicken is more better than cereal. So Chicken is more better than cereal. That's right. It's a pretty good quote. All right. What so, movie is that from? No, he made it up. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So our brew and review of the torch, what do you think so far? Well, 23 bucks plus shipping, I imagine. 30 bucks. Should it be, it would be more fair to the torch if we used the uh, 155s instead of the 185s, huh? It, it might have helped a little bit. I will say, can you use both filters? Yes. Yes, you can. Have I enjoyed both of these coffees? Yes. Yes, I have. So it wins on that front. Yeah. Would it be your go-to grabber? Wait, to- What? Yeah, would, you, would it be, I mean, like, let's say... My go-to grabber? Yeah, would you grab that in a go-to moment? Oh, I gotcha. Like, would that be... Would that be your first dripper when you're running out of the house? Like, your house is on fire. You could save one dripper and the kids. Or you could save all your drippers and no kids. So you would save all your kids, of course, and one dripper. And one dripper. I see. What, I would, see. You, would you save the torch well, here's, over the V60? Here's the spin on that. Yeah. This dripper has two pieces. So do you have to? Are you able to grab both, or are mm. you only allowed one item? That's a good question. Exactly. I think it's one grab, and in that one grab, <laughs> you, to, you can get one dripper. Yeah. Even if it's two. I mean, pieces. this is a ring, so you could like hook it with your pinky. Hook and run. Yeah. Or you could throw it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of the. I mean, I get the style. We should right? find a child and put the the, the torch, torch, the little torch Here. ring. This is your light. The little torch ring on. It's cool. Aesthetically, I like it because I think that's the intent, right? It's supposed to be a little different. It's supposed to be a little prettier. 
Um, not you've got the nice wood goes in the wood, but that's another thing. You got to make sure it's. I almost brought the level down. <laughs> you got to make sure it's leveled in there. For me, I it's, think it's not a simple dripper to use. Yeah, it's not the most practical. It doesn't fit in there super nice. Well, and plus, this is not real super balanced uh, level. Remember our our mug mugs because they got that little notch on them. I know, but I'm just saying it doesn't set. Not like set like lie on top, but like like a technical design term. Right. I, I think it's because they went straight instead of um, oh, like tapered the tapered. edges. You're right. They didn't taper the the inside. They just but went straight. Look at that. It allows you to rail spin a little easier. That's what I should have done. Maybe I missed that. But you can't rail spin it too much it's because so hot. because that V60 filter is flopping around <laughs> in there. And if you spin it too much, that thing is just going to sag. And because the porcelain's too hot. hot, all the way down into it there. So. Yeah. So overall, for me, not my favorite. It's fun if you're a collector of devices. Drippers, yeah. And you want to have something to show off. It's a good, fun little dripper. Yeah. And it's not too expensive. It's not like a hundred dollars. I mean, you've never spent $100 on a dripper, right? <laughs> Nothing fancy that was supposed to be amazing and just never worked and you ended up giving away. You've never done that. So I, I think... Who would we give it away to? Oh. Reed? Yes. Is it Reed? I think he mastered it. Reed's got the silver tin. Day one. That's what it was. Wait, you're talking about the silver tin? Yeah, talking about the silver tin. I only spent 110 bucks on it. I think you can get it now that. for 80 I think it's on sale for eighty now, but I spent over a yeah. hundred on it, and we gave that away. So good deal. Not our favorite, just but it falls in that similar category. Easier to use than the Silverton, but just kind of a, an aesthetic device. Yeah, that you can get by with something else that's cheaper and more practical for less. I don't know if that made sense. Yeah, but. should we try to sand it? Sand it. Sand the the ring, the wood ring inside. Sand. Should we try and shape it? Well, it has. Oh, does it have a little shape in it? It does have a little. Oh. Well, Maybe matter. you had it upside down. No, they said the torch writing was uh, was on the other side. Yeah. Maybe you got to spin it until it sits in there. Anyway. Keep spinning it, bro. This, yeah, it's falling it, all over the place. Yeah, it doesn't set in there. You can even see. Look, I can see. Look, I can see. Well, okay. Yeah. I Perfect. Can, yeah, that helps me out. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. That is so good. <laughs> Do you mind? I can Just... see clear. I can see between the side of the porcelain and the wood ring. Chopping that portion up and making <laughs> oh, no. a new bead out of it. <laughs> Ruin review. Uh, what will we see today? Cue it up. For for those of you who don't know, the Bruin Review beat was is chopped. Chopped up and and uh, looped. Chopped up and looped uh, for your uh, en enjoyment and my entertainment. So all in all, the torch may be good for collectors. Like if you really want, if you're collecting a bunch of, you know, Japanese drippers or something, like if you just want it. Um, other than that, it's not really, it's not really all that great. However, however, this little guy, this guy. It's cool. This guy, this guy, this yes, guy. Yes, it is. That guy's cool. You don't mind keeping your, um, what, water under 300 milliliters, 300 grams? 300, yeah. Then you're good to go. But yeah, you just fill it up, it's 300. 300 your max. So. Yeah, that guy's definitely cool. So it's okay. It's fun to play with the torches, but it's not something we would recommend to help you up your coffee game. Should we... I thought that was a good sign Should off. we... Just keep going. Yeah. Should we give this away to the next Guatemalan order? Oh, it's a good brew to that, give away. That's what or, we do with brews that, we don't like. Right? I know. We normally just give them away. Somebody else figure Should this I out. Should I put a condition on it now as well? well just maybe we'll have we another contest. In it? Con yeah. Context. Contest. Contest. I'll do another screenshot. Find another photo of you making a face and throw it out there. I don't know. I think we should give it away in some fashion. How should we give it away? Maybe if you come up with the best way that we should give it away, we'll give it to you. That was terrible. That was brilliant. That was even worse than the super right <laughs> hook of buy coffee and we'll give you a free dripper. Uh, is that what you said? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like the next, the next person that buys Guatemalan. Oh. The next Guat purchase. Because this is coming out Friday morning. Order now. If you order now see, within the next five minutes, you, you will get the see, Torch that's Mountain the deal. Dripper. Then like 20 people are going to order and 19 of them are going to be disappointed. That's, so nah, never that's mind. That's the whole point of those type of... I don't like that. I don't want to disappoint anybody. I want to delight everybody. And then, you know, they listen to it a month later and they still hear you. Order within the next 10 minutes I, and I you will be... I hate that guy. I hate that guy. Okay, sweet. All right. We out. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that. We'll find a way to give it away. Yep. 
No cuts, no butts, no coconuts. Thank you so much for hanging in there with us for this brew and review number 11. Got any ideas on how we can give away this Torch Mountain Dripper? Hit me up. Let me know. Jacob at OrangeCactusCoffee.com. Thank you again for listening. We'll catch you next time.